What did I say before? What makes you look and appear to be quicker than you might be if you have what? Vision. So this drill is mainly about constant vision on the ball and on the person you're guarding. You cannot get overextended on this. If, if you're playing over here and you're out here like this, you might see the person you're guarding, but you have no idea where the ball is. If you're on this help side and all you do is open up to the ball, well, I can see the ball plenty, but I have no clue what's going on behind me, right? So all I want you to do, and, and white team, when I say live, you can start cutting. You can start moving anywhere you want on the floor, and you better see the ball and the person you're guarding at all times. You got it, Red? And if I say freeze, just stop where you are. I'm either going to compliment you on great defense, or I'm going to chew your butt out, okay? All right, here we go. Start moving, White. Start moving all over the floor. There's a the ball. Ball hasn't moved. Cut hard, White. Cut hard now. Freeze. All right. I like your position. Could be up. You could be on the line here. Now, your guard, she, she's going to post you up. Uh, she's going to take you and just seal you. I want, now I don't know if everybody teaches this. I think you have to get, if that's where the ball is, you got to be in this position. If you're going to play behind here, now just imagine, I think you're going to go against some players a little bigger, right? They're going to seal you. They're, they're going to take you, they're going to seal, and they're going to get that high-low situation. You're in that gap. You're in your triangle. And you know in today's offenses, so much of it is predicated on misdirection, on taking the ball one way and throwing skip passes back to a great shooter. If your help is clogged up, if, if you're in here, you don't have a good stance, you got your butt away from the person, that ball will go to the corner and you'll get there, but you'll get there late. And this goes right back to what we talked about. Early help means early recovery. Early help means early recovery. And the only way you can be in great early help position is when you see ball and man. All right, start moving again. All right, cut hard, cut hard. Can you see it? Ball's moved. Um, son, so, come on out here. All right, freeze a minute. You and I are going to start passing the ball. We are now going to just take it the next step. We're going to move the ball from one side of the floor to the other. I'm trying to get the point across. Whose responsibility is it to keep the ball out of the paint? Is it stop penetration? Whose responsibility? Who? Did you say everyone? That's exactly it. It's the team's responsibility. It's not, well, you're the best guy one-on-one. -on -one. You should stop the ball. You do your job. You fight the ball. But it's everyone's responsibility to try to keep the ball out of this area. And when you get a team that lives and dies with that kind of mentality, you're tough to go against. All right. What's your name, son? Sevy. Sevy? Yes. Like, like the golfer? Mm -hmm. Wow, Seve Balstra, golfer. All right, you go over there. Now, here's the ball. Whites, space out here. Not only is here where the ball is, but now tell me how are you gonna switch positions when the ball goes over there? All right, you jump, you get into the lane. You are now that flat triangle helper. Just get your butt to the baseline. Get, get a situation where every time you are in that triangle, your inside foot is up, your rear end is to the baseline, and you can see both ball and man. If you only see the person you're guarding, my butt's not to the baseline. If I only see the ball, my butt's not to the baseline. If I'm in this position, I can see both. 
All right? We'll move the ball, and here's the last thing we're going to do, White. If we pass the ball to one of you four, and we say live, you try to score. All right? Try to beat them, and don't be kind to these people. Don't make them think they're playing good defense. And if we see somebody cut, for example, let's say you got extended while they're moving, make a backdoor cut and wide open, we're giving, we're giving her the ball. I want to see if you really can play some defense, okay? Here we go. Start moving, White. Here's the ball. Now, what if I, what if I dribble? Ho, ho, freeze. What if I take the ball right here? What's gonna happen? Now, you should be up here, son, and in this gap. You don't have to help that far, because if you come up too far, I'm going right to the corner, and Ben's going to drop a baseline jumper. All right? It's going to be your job to seal that gap, your job to seal this gap. I shouldn't be able to go all the way to the hole without resistance. There should never be a time where somebody takes the ball all the way to the glass and all we have seen from you is matador defense. You kind of wave the cape. You kind of look at the person go and say, well, I thought you were guarding the ball. It's got to be alertness, okay? Anticipate. Here's the ball. Get up. Ball's moved. Ball's moved. I'm going to the corner. Live, live, try to score, White. Gap. All right, freeze. Now, you know what? You're, actually, your positioning was pretty good. But, oh my, I did, I did not hear one word of defensive talk. I didn't hear one word of ball, 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 or I got help, son, I got you, I'm in your gap. You've got to talk a little bit. And I know you say, well, we talk if there are screens out there. That's when we tell, a screen left, screen left, and we step out. How about getting into the habit of talking all the time? I know I read this on the uh, email that I got from Coach that says, when the ball's picked up, you, you're supposed to yell what? Dead. Dead, 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 dead. I want to hear you talk in this drill right now. All right, let's go. Let's move the ball back out. All right, start moving, White. It's live. It's live. Ball. Fight the ball. Keep your base wide. Help side, help side. Slide your feet, slide your feet, keep your base wide. Try to drive the ball, try to take it into a gap. That's it, good help. Pass it to you and you take it. Ball back out here, Balba here. Keep moving, keep moving. Go. Oh, hey, he went to the hole like nobody was there. You know what? I don't care if, if he was the extra guy. It's not only your responsibility to guard the person that you uh, matched up with. You're supposed to stop the ball, period. That, that's when you know you've got a great team defense. When you can guard two people at once, three people at once, instead of, well, I had my person covered. You've, you've got to be alert to the ball. All right.